Welcome back to Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places. We begin in Tampa. And so we begin right here at Tampa's former Five and Dime District. Actually, all that is left of that old department store district is right here before us. And between Polk and Cass Street on North Franklin Avenue, we have the former Woolworths Building and Crest Building right there and also to the left you can't really see it but we'll get there the jj newberry building as well the old department stores the former fw woolworths department building stretches a whole block down to florida avenue this building erected in 1947 check it out looks like of the art deco style look at the old windows up there and obviously currently sitting vacant 801 north franklin avenue very cool to see the old w out here in front of the store for Woolworths and as you can see it's not in the best condition they've got look check it out they've got plants popping out inside the old window where they used to display all the goods these old department stores were were pretty cool they were you know the first Walmart's really your one-stop shop you could get you could get lunch you could get groceries you could get clothing anything and everything in these old department stores here's a look inside I am now peeking in this window Franklin Street right behind me peeking through the glass looking up the former staircase there and check out the building it's all it's been gutted out very cool to see this I hope they repurpose it and now we come to the SH Crescent Company building erected in 1929 check it out of the Mediterranean style very cool look at the old marquee it looks almost like a theater and look at this old water supply for the fire department on the side of the building in between the Woolworths and the crest very cool to see that has definitely been there since 1929 that is so cool you can make out the detail along the building here especially the use of colors beneath the windows and this old crest sign with the k right there it's kind of a crest crest you can still make that out as well this is very cool very unique looking building too and thankfully it's still here even though it's sitting abandoned for all these years it's still here and it's still a good building and I hope I hope to see something go in here look at all the square footage and over here on the far south side of the building you can make out the stairwell down to the basement check it out yeah all of these buildings here along Franklin Street have basements including the, the Tampa Theater a block away found this old photo back in 1940 of the JJ Newberry department store check it out very classic looking the sign on top of the building at the peak that sticks out no longer here and also the awning that used to hang out this way no longer there as well but it is the same building this is the current condition next to the crest building I'm gonna take a look inside the windows as we've done before the other buildings check it out oh this one has been gutted as well it looks like they're trying to renovate it but I've been coming down here a lot the past few years and nothing really has changed inside this building and look another basement very cool they need to repurpose this baby so i found this old postcard check out the newberry the crest building the woolworths and the tampa theater marquee here you are today about the same angle look at that 1940s to the 2020s then and now much has changed here on Franklin Street. Now at the corner of Polk in Florida, I wanted to show you the opposite side of the three five and dime buildings right here at Woolworths. Looks a little different on this end. It's a little older, brick too. And look at the windows, original windows up there. But here you go, the five and dime district of Tampa. What's left of it? This is all that remains right here. Oh, there's the Hotel Floridan right there. John F. Kennedy stayed there in 1963, just a couple days before he was assassinated. Him and Jackie, Jackie Kennedy, stayed right there in the hotel. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. Thought we'd start in downtown Tampa this morning. I'm headed to Walt Disney World to check into my resort for the 50th anniversary of Magic Kingdom tomorrow. The 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, October 1st. 1971 there's still much to see along the way some more Florida roadside attractions and some abandoned places I am Tampa J there's much ahead we now come to historic Ybor City on the corner of 8th and 13th 
Check out the streetcar. The historic Tico streetcars. Go Bolts! A little advertisement there, Coors Light. We come to Ybor City because I wanted to take a look at this park right here. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at Cuba. Welcome to Parque Amigos de Jose Marti. Inside those gates, that property, that park is owned by the country of Cuba. One of the only pieces of property owned by a foreign nation inside of the United States located right here in Ybor. Notice there's a little flower sprouting out of the queue there in Parque. Here we are before the gates. All right, stepping out of the United States of America into Cuba. Well, sort of, technically, it's owned by Cuba. Check it out, he's calling us. Hey there. Hey, with the Ybor City Roosters, good to see you guys. Just like in Key West, the Roosters roam the streets. The statue of Jose Marti towers above in the center of the park. Apostle of Cuban freedom, born in Havana, Cuba, on January 28th, 1853. Patriot, writer, poet, lawyer, and orator. A lover of liberty and justice, his ideas and personal example were a universal inspiration for the world as well as for the Cuban people. He perished on the field of battle in the struggle for his country freedom on May 19th, 1895, in Dos Rios province of Oriente, Cuba. There are tons of roosters in here. Check them out. Jose Marti Park is open Monday through Friday, 8 to 1.30 only. These gates are only open during that time. And I just got the notification from the Walt Disney World Resort application that my room is ready. All I have to do is show up and touch my magic band to the door. That's it. Here's my digital key. Now on Highway 92 in Lakeland, Florida, heading to our next destination up here by the waterside by the lake. 1330 East Memorial Drive, Highway 92. This building is the original Red Lobster. Oh my gosh, the first one ever. Opened on January 18th, 1968. Opened by Bill Darden and Charlie Woodsby, who founded the Red Lobster Ends of America Corporation. This was the model building that they used for all the Red Lobsters that would open across America. A very nostalgic looking building for those of you who have been to Red Lobster, especially the, the original ones back in the 60s and 70s. Here you go, the first one ever. This is exciting. And it is still here in great shape and it looks like it's being renovated, but it's been sitting vacant and abandoned for a while. Over the years, it has been it has been utilized though, it's been rented out. If you look at the old red, original Red Lobster sign here, you can make out a silhouette, some old logos covered up. I see the word margaritas up there. I see alligator and coming soon. Lakeland Fishing Outfitters, it looks like it's going to be a bait shop. Go figure. A bait shop going into the original Red Lobster building. The old stone wall here that was made of sea rock has been painted all blacked out, but still there. I'm sure someone's watching this that, that has probably eaten here before back in the day when it was a Red Lobster. If you have, comment below, going around here to the main door. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Not every day you can visit an original Red Lobster building. There's not too many of them left. Here's a look inside. It's all gutted out. Kind of looks like the buildings we just saw downtown Tampa. But it looks like it's currently being renovated and turned into some sort of a bait shop. If these walls could talk, it would talk about a lot of lobster and cheddar biscuits. I always enjoyed their cheddar biscuits, those are good. I'm thinking right now about all the people who probably waited outside here for a table. Probably sitting along the fence here. Just thinking about that. Very cool to be an original Red Lobster building. Very neat. Just had to come and had to come and see it, check it out. Oh look, stop looking at me swan. I don't know if that's a swan or a duck. Yeah, it's a prop. I, I don't think that was there back in the day when Red Lobster was slinging out them cheddar biscuits. All right, here we come, Orlando, getting on Interstate 4, heading towards Highway 192, Erlo Bronson, 
in Kissimmee, heading towards Walt Disney World. But first, there's a couple stops along 192. And we begin here at Sunset Walk on the north side of Highway 192 in this parking lot sits a bit of a roadside attraction. Actually, a big one. Big bin. Look at that. That is an awesome replica sticking out of a British restaurant, of course. Yeoman's Cask and Lion, which I've eaten at before, but not this one. There's also one in downtown Tampa. There's one here as well. That one in Tampa doesn't have the big bin sticking out of it, though. That is pretty fascinating. Look at the detail on that thing. Isn't it great? They did a really good job. It looks like it's really stoned. London, England, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so just one more stop here along 192 before then heading to Walt Disney World property to check in to the Art of Animation where I'll be staying the next couple of nights. Show you a little of my room in the hotel when I get there. I just love Kissimmee, the wackiness, the nostalgia. Spent a ridiculous amount of time with my family here in the 90s frequenting the theme parks on spring breaks on vacation from Indiana. So many memories here. So many good times along 192. For me, that is. Maybe for you, too. And there she is! The mermaid! Just had to come say hello to this giant mermaid upon Disney souvenirs. Wanted to stop here because this mermaid kind of fits with the subject matter. You'll see a little later. But this Disney souvenir gifts, obviously, they have a lot of good deals. Check it out. They got towels for $2.99. I see, oh no, $3.99 on the sign. They used to be $2.99. They also have $1.99 t-shirts, mugs, 99 cents, all kinds of souvenirs in there. The first time I went to Walt Disney World was in 1993 with my parents on New Year's Eve into 1994 and I'll never forget it we stayed right out here at a hotel nearby actually the old Howard Johnson Hotel down this way but very cool to be here on the 50th anniversary very special moment tomorrow check it out on the billboard over there less sleepy more thrills magic kingdom a little advertisement across the way there very relevant at precisely eight hours until the 50th anniversary celebration of Walt Disney World. I come to Walt Disney World. Welcome to the most magical place on the earth for the past 50 years. And here I am turning left on Animation Way, heading into Art of Animation. I am so excited. It was an expensive stay. I made these reservations back in December. 2020 for what I paid here I could almost stay at the Polynesian <laughs> during a you know regular time of year but it is the 50th anniversary weekend oh there goes goofy good good gosh <laughs> oh this is so much fun all right I gotta show my reservation here and here we are Disney's art of animation resort this is vibrant I love it First time here. I've only stayed on property twice before, beforehand. And that was at the All-Star Resorts, actually All-Star Sports. This is awesome. Just parked the car, walking up to the resort, about to find my room, checking out Lightning McQueen, Ariel, Nemo, and Simba, right here on the front of the resort. And over here, is the bus pickup and drop off for the parks. You can take a Disney bus anywhere on property, just about anywhere. Oh my gosh, check it out. 50th anniversary. This, this is a cool floor mat here. Walking into the resort. Oh yeah, look at this, this is awesome. Well, this is where you normally would check in, but I'm already pre-checked. I can walk right up to my room, checking out all the artwork here at Animation Hall, right down over there. This is so cool to see all these sketches here along the wall. We've got the Lion King soundtrack on the PA as I'm passing in front of Ink and Paint Shop. I'm so excited to be here. 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. That's exciting. Look, pixel play, arcade. Hey, I'm going to be enjoying that this weekend. It's been a while since I've had fun in arcade. That'll be fun, yeah. All kinds of things to do here. Just walked out of Animation Hall. 
and immediately I have found the Finding Nemo area, the pool area. This is very awesome. Check it out. Over here is a concession stand. The drop off. Oh, I am a little thirsty. Maybe I'll come back and get a drink here. There's the seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. That building, not mine. Radiator Springs, a happy place. Not mine as well, but cool to see for the first time. Ornament Valley, Radiator Springs. I like that billboard. There's also some classic cars over here. Here's the sheriff. Very cool to see the cars from cars. You got the sheriff right here. And right here, you got the old Hudson Hornet. And more cars down this road near the Cozy Cone Motel, which the low and slow hot rod sits right out front. Very low and slow. Love the paint job, buddy, and the wheels. And also, you have Showgirl, which has her headlights on already. It's not even night yet. And Showgirl's got her headlights on. And no vacancy here at the Cozy Cone. I will not be staying here, of course. Not here. Oh. I see Mater. Mater's over there. I gotta say hello to Mater. Mater! Check him out right there. Oh, it's awesome to see. That is so cool. Just like in the movie. One thing I've always noticed about Mater is that we both have the same smile. Check out our grills. There you go. Right there. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that, did you? Simba! Check it out. That's awesome. One of the most famous scenes from Lion King acted out right here. Check it out. A giant version of Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa crossing the log. I'm about to cross underneath it. Akuna Matata style. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. <laughs> oh man, I love The Lion King when I was a kid. Such a great movie. Oh no. Danger. Danger. You have the hyenas over here. Danger. Oh, I laugh in the face of danger. This is creepy. This is so cool. So good. Oh boy, it's Jeremy Irons. I mean, Scar. Hello, Scar. Always enjoyed Jeremy Irons doing the voice of Scar. A very unique voice. Always remember him from Die Hard 3, too. <laughs> and here I am. I have reached the Little Mermaid. And this is where I will be staying for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World for the weekend. Oh yeah, almost to my room. What's this thingy, Majigger? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, and look, also the pipe. So here you go, you have the Medusa building and you have the aerial building out beyond the pool there. Well, hello, Sebastian, under the sea. <laughs> so cool. Check it out over here, King Triton with his trident. And this is the building I will be staying for this weekend. Somewhere up there, somewhere in there. Staying on the backside of Triton. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Man, this giant sculpture statue is huge. Oh my gosh, check it out. There's a balcony right there. It's a nice view for them, <laughs> the backside of the Triton. And I have found my room and I guess I'll be using my phone to open the door. Hold your phone against the lock. Door unlocked. That was cool. Under the sea. Hey, that picture is a little crooked, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is adorable. Little Mermaid. I think I, I believe going to see this. I believe I remember going to see the the Little Mermaid with my with my mom back when it came out. That would have been the Castle Theater in Newcastle, Indiana. So nice. It feels so good in here. The AC feels great been outside for quite some time now. Check it out, Disney Art of Animation Resort. Current temperature, 87 degrees tonight, 79. And you got the hours for the parks right there. Got a place to hang my coat and hat. My hat, I'm gonna turn on, let's see, turn on the light here. Just gonna show you the room. Here we go, light switch, there we go. So nice, I always enjoy, well, I enjoyed my last two stays here at the Disney World Resort. Always so fresh and clean, always clean. I've noticed, look, you got this, what is this? Sea salt facial soap. And here is the shower, lights on. There we go, Ariel on the shower curtain, of course. Look at that, hold on. Check it out. <laughs> oh, she's keeping time there. <laughs> yeah, here's the shower. I like the tile. 
And of course you've got, look, shampoo, conditioner, and sea salt body scrub there. Very fancy. This is where I'm staying for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Very exciting. I'm glad I could share this moment with you, document my experience. It was a bit of a different type of video. I can lock my goods in there, keep it safe. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited, guys. Yeah, I'm glad I could share this moment with you. This video is a little different. Started off with my Florida roadside attractions and then into a theme park area discussing, disclosing my plans for tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. If you did, give it, I can't see it in the silhouette. Give it one of those. Right, Eric? <laughs> That's a cool picture. I need to straighten it, though. Can I straighten that? Nope. It's nailed to the wall like that. I guess we're supposed to be like in a ship. Like in the little mermaid. Things are going up and down. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up right down there below. And if it's your first time here, subscribe below and come on back. Tomorrow, I'm waking up very early for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. And I hope to see you guys there. I'll be documenting that experience as well. It's a different experience today, starting off with Florida Roadside Attractions. Kind of merge that series into my theme park plans but hey i like to mix it up so i hope you enjoyed it i will be back on the haunt trail soon again doing the halloween haunts and more baseball games ahead razor in the playoffs and more theme parks of course and traveling i will be doing some more filming locations in the future as well so if you'd like to check any of that out and you're not already subscribed um, or if you are just a heads up for what's in store so much ahead still for 2021. Almost Halloween and then Christmas. It's gone so fast. Just like it's gone so fast for Walt Disney World. 50 years. Exciting to be here. So exciting to be here. All right, time to end it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know there's much ahead. Bye-bye.